Hey guys, this is Miriam at High Life Auto. I am out doing a video test drive on a 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan. If you've never been on my video test drives before, the way it works is I drive the vehicle on video and I tell you what I see, hear, think, smell, and feel to give you the best indication of being in the driver's seat without actually being in the driver's seat. I'm not a mechanic and this is not meant to be a 182 point inspection, rather this is meant to be a sneak peek into how the vehicle drives and any potential issues I notice as we're going along. So we'll take a look around the vehicle, we'll take a look under the hood, and then we'll go for a drive. <coughs> and we're doing this one um, from Dallas City because I drove it home. I went and filled it up with gas yesterday, which means that I'm driving it for at least the next three or four days until I'm out of gas. So, um, <clears throat> we're going to do this one. I'll tell you what I know, and I'll tell you what I don't know, and we'll go from there. Okay. Um, so, with that being said, because I'm driving it, I've got stuff in it, um, and it might have stuff in it, it might not, um, and we'll just, we'll go from there. So, here we go. <laughs> All right. Um, pretty decent looking. This is just like a... Um, a pretty base van. It's the 30th anniversary, which to me, you you know, you'd think it would be like more fancy and stuff, but it's really not. It's just a really base van. Um, it doesn't have, you know, it's got like the rust kind of starting down here, but it hasn't presented itself yet. Uh, these back tires are right at the wear bars, probably about 25%. Um, but the rockers look good. The front tires are also about 25%. Um, and that might be something if I'm driving this for a while, it might, um, we might get some tires on there. Um, looks like we're missing a little trim piece right here. And, you know, there's one right here. It's nothing, you know, detrimental, but it's, it's missing. Um, interior, it was clean. Um, it was detailed. It's just black cloth. Um, one thing I do know is the driver's side seat belt is missing right there. I'm intending to get that fixed. Um, I'm just got to get one from a salvage yard or something. Uh, but what that means is when you get in, uh, the seatbelt alarm will beep, you know, for like a minute or two. What are you crying for? What are you crying for? Say hi. Uh. He's not very happy. Okay, so, um, it, it, but it's, the interior is good. It's just cloth, um, but it looks like it's in fairly decent condition. Um, looks like it's been, you know, fairly well taken care of. From the back, uh, no power doors or anything. It's all, it's all manual. It's got the stow and go seating, um, so that'll go down into the floor and you uh, pretty much have a completely flat surface from back to the driver's seats. Um, this side, it looks really good. Um, no dense things, rust, anything like that. So really, as far as body goes, that, that one spot on the rear driver's side wheel is the worst. Um, and it looks like we just have a little bit of bumper stuff going on here. Some zip ties and um, some cracks, and it looks like you're missing a little grill piece. Um, nothing, nothing too horrible. It's just it's missing. So there's that. We're gonna pop this open. Nope, I didn't pop it. So I'm gonna go pop it. Hey, why'd you throw your bottle out? Are you just throwing a fit now? Okay, pop the hood. Here's the motor, and I, since I filled up with gas yesterday, I checked all the fluids yesterday. Um, they all look good. <clears throat> I don't know when the, um, you know, when the oil was last changed, but it looks like a decent golden color. Um, you know, all the fluids are at good levels. Um, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, it does have remote start on this van, and it does work. Um, um, one thing, so you listen, it's got just got that little bit of an engine tick. I think that's pretty common. That's pretty common on a lot of Dodges. I've got a Dodge Dakota, actually the same motor um, that has the same tick. So I think it's, um, I think it's pretty common. Just um, it's something if you're worried about it, just check into it. Um, you know, ask some mechanic friends or or whatever, and see what they think. Um, it's driving fine. I don't think it's an issue. Um, you just gotta kind of listen to it and kind of determine. Every time I get in the car, I go to put my seatbelt on, and then I realize, oh, I don't have a seatbelt. Um, okay, so anyways, um, let's look, I gotta figure out how to get through here. I did it yesterday. Okay, 210,814 miles. Um, so actually, it looks like the oil change is due, um, but uh, the oil yesterday, like it was at a good level, it's a good color, um, so it's due by miles, but you know, you know, whatever, um, it's kind of your prerogative. Matt never changes his oil until, you know, it's a, a bad color. Um, 
but we'll do windows driver's side window works passenger side window works uh, let's see we'll see if we got back windows on this pa rear passenger side window works and rear driver's side window works um okay there's that we've got um just a basic radio um and it's uh the satellite the, like the Sirius works uh, but it does cut in and out um, I was doing some Google research and they said there's probably just a loose connection in the back um, that's actually very common with these um, so the satellite works but AM FM there's just no sound um, so again that might be a um, a loose connection thing in the back I intend to take this off um, and see if I can determine you know see if there's a loose connection or a bad wire or something so pay attention to my description and see if um, that gets updated um, but then down here we've got and we've got the front and rear controls here, which is nice in a minivan um, So I've got the heat on right now and the heat is blowing out. Well, and I'm gonna turn the AC on I think I had that on yesterday, but I'll double check um, And we'll just see what that does. Okay, so we've done our windows. We've done um, And we've got a mommy mirror. That's one of those things that I really like because then I can see my son um, You know when I see him crying in the back because he's not getting what he wants. So, um, we're gonna go take this for a drive, I think. Because I think I've done everything that I normally do when I'm sitting. Um, but since I'm driving on the highway the whole way, I'm gonna do my turn signals here. Left turn signal works, right turn signal works, windshield wipers work, and it was raining yesterday. So I know the windshield wipers work, and the fluid works, and the horn works. Um, and we'll get going, and we'll check our cruise, and we'll check how it drives, and um, all of that other stuff. So, off we go. <clears throat> it does drive well. This is the, um, we took a van, actually it was a 2010, so it was a little bit older than this. We took a 2010 um, Chrysler Town and Country, which is the same, essentially the same van. We took it all the way down to Florida in, uh, in December. So it's the same, um, same van and it had 206,000 miles. So it's, um, it's one of those things, these vans, as long as they're taken care of, they, they tend to last a while. But again, you know, anything that's taken care of tends to last. So, um, with, with anything, you just got to make sure you're doing your maintenance. But, um, this is running and driving well. So it had good pickup. It's driving smooth. Um, I did notice on a little bit of the roads in town, there's a little bit of um, like suspension noise, like struts maybe in the rear, um, but it's not it's not bad. It's just kind of starting on the in town roads. So um, just something to pay attention to. You know, put on your bucket list for like in six months to a year. Um, you know, to start looking at some suspension parts. We're gonna turn on our cruise and. <clears throat> Our cruise is set. We're going 60 down the highway. Um, you see there's an airbag light on there and then that, but like I said right now, the seatbelt light is on um, because I don't have a seatbelt. So um, that will just stay on um, until I get that done. So, but I don't know why the airbag light is on. Um, I haven't, you know, looked into it. Sometimes my computer can read, you know, like a pretensioner or something um, and sometimes it can't. But it's driving very well. Brakes are good and solid, no grinding, no vibration. Um, very good driving van. So, um, for the most part, we've got a good van um, that needs, right now, it needs a seatbelt. It needs some work on the radio. Um, air conditioner is blowing cold, <clears throat> which is really nice because it's going to start to get, it's going to be like 86 degrees this, this uh, weekend. <clears throat> um, so, seatbelt, radio, and tires, I think, is what we're looking at right now. Um, other than that, you know, it seems seems pretty solid. Um, pay attention to my description on the seatbelt and the radio. Um, well, and maybe the tires too. Who knows? Who knows what I'll get done? Um, just pay attention to the description and see what gets done. And um, we'll see you guys when you come in. Thanks.